Hello friends, in this video we are going to see various characteristics in formed boundary layer that is laminar and turbulent one. So let's start with the video. We all know that when boundary layer starts around a body then in that case due to change in Reynolds number there are various types of boundary layer such as laminar, transitional and turbulent. So let's see the characteristic of each one one by one. Let's start with laminar boundary layer. If this is a plate This point A is called as leading edge. And this zone is called as laminar zone. So when smooth plate is placed parallel to the direction, this is U. Then it is clear that due to no slip condition, the closest layer which is shown in figure does not move because it is attracted by wonder wall force and adhesive forces. The respective layers nearer to its boundary away from the plate are moved with increasing order of velocity and a stage reaches that a velocity in a layer becomes 99% of initial velocity that is u so I will write here as 0.99 u. So the outer edge where velocity is 99% of initial velocity is called as boundary layer. So it is clear that velocity of flow be below this layer is less than 99% and above is equal to u. So this is so this is the boundary layer below which velocity is less than 99% of u and above which it is equal to 99% or equal to u. So, flow in boundary layer is laminar when Reynolds number is less than 5 into 10 raised to 5. We all know formula for Reynolds number is rho v l upon mu. This l is nothing but the characteristic length In our case, it is starting from point A, so it is distance x in our problem. So it is clear that as x is increasing, Reynolds number is increasing and from 0 value to certain limit that is 5 into 10 raised to 5, we will have the flow showing laminar nature. So for Reynolds number, we can have another formula as ux upon nu because here this velocity becomes u in our case and this l becomes x and rho upon mu becomes nu. So here u is nothing but the free stream velocity. x is nothing but the distance from 
leading edge and nu is nothing but the kinematic viscosity so it is very important for any value of x this is the general formula of Reynolds number and limiting value is phi into 10 to 5 we have to remember two things regarding laminar boundary layer this is first thing and this is second thing now let's start with turbulent part of boundary layer means i am talking about this zone this is called as turbulent zone and a layer called as laminar sublayer is get formed the reason for formation of laminar sublayer is that this is laminar sublayer we know that Reynolds number is increased beyond this limiting value in case of turbulent zone so as velocity is reducing this velocity u is reducing it means that Reynolds number is also decreasing so if we go from boundary layer towards the edge edge of rigid body we will found that Reynolds number is reducing it will attain such value that at a certain thickness the Reynolds number value will be 5 into 10 raised to 5 and obviously below that thickness below that level below this level as shown in figure Reynolds number will have less value because it is becoming zero velocity is becoming zero at the edge of the rigid body due to van der Waal forces and adhesive forces so due to no slip condition here Reynolds number is zero at a certain thickness Reynolds number is 5 into 10 to 5 and zone between them is nothing but a laminar zone and we will call it as laminar sub layer because sub means below the transitional layer or below the turbulent layer so it is lying at the lower level in the turbulent zone hence called as a laminar sub layer so in turbulent boundary layer if x value is increased beyond Reynolds number equal to 5 into 10 raised to 5 thickness of boundary layer also increases the layer formed beyond re equal to 5 into 10 raised to 5 is called turbulent boundary layer adds we move away from boundary layer it corresponds to reduced velocity if velocity is reduced then in that case Reynolds number is also in reduced it corresponds to re reduce if re is reduced it means that value comes at a certain stage it comes below 5 into 10 to 5 so below re equal to 5 into 10 to 5 new layer is formed called laminar sub layer So now we will talk about laminar sub layer.
velocity rate variation in laminar sublayer is assumed linear Hence, velocity gradient is constant. Velocity gradient, velocity gradient is nothing but the du upon dy. This is nothing but the rate of change of strain, rate of change of strain so now i am talking about variation of velocity with respect to thickness of boundary layer let's start with the leading edge so this is the first zone in first zone if this is y then with increase in the value this velocity is also increasing linearly this is velocity so this is called as linear increase with respect to y it means that constant rate or constant velocity gradient in case of in case of turbulent zone say at this point this is y and this is velocity and there exists laminar sublayer this is nothing but the laminar sub layer so up to laminar sub layer level where reynolds number is 5 into 10 raised to 5 the relation is the same that is linear and now this profile is changing and becoming logarithmic practically speaking this type of variation does not found and this generally follow a parabolic curve so this curve is parabolic when actually we observe the changes in the velocity we will find that this curve is having nature as parabolic one so this linear zone indicates constant velocity gradient and this varying velocity gradient If I talk about shear stresses in constant velocity gradient zone, tau is equal to mu du upon dy. Here for laminar zone, we denote it as symbol tau naught du upon dy at y equal to 0 mu into u upon y. So tau is directly proportional to the ratio mu upon y. So for linear variation, du upon dy is equal to u upon y. This is very important relation. Whenever in numericals it is written as the variation is linear, it means that du upon dy value is nothing but the u upon y value. That's all. Thank you.